Hi everyone, so I'm so excited. I just got my shipment from Lawn Fawn with their new Valentine's Day release. So let's check out what, what I got. Okay. So um, lately the last couple of shipments that I've gotten from Lawn Fawn has this green like grass-like packing paper that's pretty but it gets all over the place so I'm just gonna push that to the side for now and then let's check out and see what products we have so first is this cute little avocado pin that um, I guess comes as a free gift if you purchase more than $60 I think it was so he's just so so cute adorable and then I have some stamps and dies and some cardstock. And I got the little koala I love eucalyptus mini stamp set. And I think there's also, I think I also got the die. And here's the die. So those are just adorable. I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun making scene cards with this little with this little set setting him in a little eucalyptus tree forest. It's gonna be nice to use some greens um, after all the, the winter scenes I've been making recently. So let's put that aside. Then I also got the Sending Hugs border, border die and then the XOXO XO border die. So those are great to add to the bottom of a card. It's nice as a design element. It kind of helps you separate separate out the um, different parts of the card panel. So you could have like maybe some black and white zigzag paper on the bottom or just plain back black paper on the bottom and then maybe you're seeing above or some other pattern paper or solid cardstock. It's just a really, really nice way to um, just help with design, I think. And then we have the um, Let's Toast stamp set and die set along with the interactive pull tab. And if you haven't seen it, I've already posted a video using these products. Um, and I will, in fact, I'll show you some of the cards that I've made with it here in case you didn't get a chance to see the video. And if you like them, you can jump over to the other video and um, check it out and learn how to make them. So this one I made yesterday. It's a one layer scene card. It says a toast to us and it's using stamps from the Let's Toast stamp set and the sentiments from the stamp set. And then I also used a couple images from the Elfie Selfie stamp set that was released a couple of years ago to make the little window scene above the counter where the toaster and the avocado and the little piece of toast and pop tart are hanging out. So I had so much fun making this card, especially making the making the brick. So this is one, one type of thing that you can do with this stamp set. And then here is another version of that card. This time I gave it a Christmas theme and I paired it with the Nutty or Nice Stamp Timber stamp set collaboration between Simon Says Stamp and Lawn Fawn. And also the Love You A Latte stamp set that just came out this Christmas. I used the candy cane from that and then these little um, Santa hats came from another Christmas set from a few years ago, I don't remember offhand. And then this little Santa sleigh is from the Winter Skies stamp set that was released this past Christmas. So, just to kind of show you the difference between the two scenes. So the scene on the right uses some nice soft colors and then the scene on the left is a little bit more vibrant and, and lively and festive, I think, but I, I love them both. Um, so these are two of the cards I made with that set. Here is a third. Um, this one says, I love you with all my tart and I use the pop tart and then the sentiment with the Let's Toast stamp set to make this one. And I just love those little pop tarts. I colored them with Copic markers. And then here is an interactive, an inter, 
Here is an interactive card that I made using the Let's Toast stamp set. And this is the interactive um, portion of the die that um, will help you to make this little pull tab mechanism right here. So I'll show you how that works. So in its down position, the card looks like this, and then it says popping up to say, and it says you are my butter half. And then you just pull it and there's a little pop tart and then a little piece of toast and they kind of pop up and they're so cute. And you can move them back and forth, play with them, have fun. I'm gonna stick them back up before I put them down. So this, this card I have a lot of fun doing and I'll show you in detail how to put this together in the Let's Toast video that I posted yesterday. So check that out if you're interested. Here is another card that I made using the Let's Toast stamp set, using the toaster, the avocado, um, and a little piece of toast, and a sentiment from the stamp set that says, you're the avocado to my toast, so adorable. And I also used the lacy heart dies from last year's Valentine's release, and then the little trio of hearts from last Valentine's Day Sweet Friends stamp set. And then this is the first card that I made using the Let's Toast stamp set. It's pretty simple. It uses the gingham pattern paper by Lawn Fawn. Um, everything on this card is from the, the stamp set except for little hearts that are from Sweet Friends. And it says popping up to say, I love you. And then when you pull the pull tab, the little chocolate pop tart pops out and then close it, open it, close it, open it. So much fun. This is a great card, I think, for like if you have little children in your life. I know my niece and nephew love playing with interactive cards and I'm gonna make a bunch of them for them for, for Valentine's Day. So this piece right here, um, I use the um, polka heart die that was also just released and that should be in here, let me find it. So here it is, and this comes in portrait and then also in landscape. Okay, here is the landscape version, and then here is the portrait version. So they're both great for, um, for your Valentine's Day cards or birthday cards for a little girl or um, a wedding or an engagement card or any just thinking of you, sweet little, sweet little cards wherever, wherever hearts might be needed. So that's, that's that set of dies. Next, we have the little candy hearts. And this is just adorable. There are these little stitched hearts and they say cutie, XO, smile, hugs, and I love you. And then there is a plain heart also so that you can place um, a plain piece of cardstock right behind the heart and um, then your little die cut sentiment will, will show through in another color. So that is just adorable. I can't wait to start playing with these little candy hearts. Next we have the heart treat box. And this item is sold out already on the Lawn Fawn website and I think also elsewhere, but I have an extra one. So if you would like a chance to win this heart treat box die, just leave a comment on this video and then go over to my Let's Toast video and leave a comment there also. And I will announce the winner on December 31st when there'll be a couple of giveaways, giveaway winners announced that day and this is one of them. And there'll also be a few more giveaways coming up in the next 10 days or so that will be announced on the 31st. So. If you're interested in participating, I urge you to subscribe and just follow along with my videos for um, forever, I hope, but at least for the next 10 days if you're interested in participating in the giveaway. So here's the heart treat box. This creates an adorable little like inch, like it's an inch across box and then it's about a half an inch thick. It has a little heart on top and the heart actually um, it opens up at the heart, so it's like a little heart flap, and you can add these little guys, I think, on top of there, so you could have your box be topped with cutie or XO or hugs or smile, 
it's just adorable. And then there are these little decorations you can add, the little hearts in two sizes. Be really cute to make some layered hearts, maybe um, cut this out in like a light pink and then this in a dark pink. Or you can mix some colors and maybe do like guava and raspberry. I think those cardstock colors by Lawn Fawn look nice together. Or guava and ballet slippers. Um, really lots of, lots of possibilities. So next, these, uh, I guess these are just like little freebies that were in the, that were in the shipment. These are just some little sheets of pattern paper from one of Lawn Fawn's previous release um, paper packs. And then I also picked up some ballet slipper cardstock because I was running low and I figured with Valentine's Day coming up, it would be good to have this on hand. So these are all the products that I bought and I will be making lots of projects with these products in the coming weeks between now and Valentine's Day and beyond. So um, I hope that you stay tuned and I will see you again in the next video. And don't forget if you wanna participate in the giveaway to win this heart treat box die, leave a comment on this video and then also on um, the Let's Toast video that I posted yesterday. Have a great night, everyone, and I will see you again in the next video.